Hello boys and girls, now that we've coded the bat and we've got our score set up, now I can code the apple. So the first thing I want to do with the apple is I'm going to click on the apple and I'm going to start with a flag. So I'm going to tell the flag, I'm going to tell it to forever, I want it just to glide to a random position. So I'm just going to come over here and put this in a forever loop. So now I can have it glide to a random position. The other way to code the apple to move would to be something like this. So I'm going to break this for just a second and I'm going to come over here and now I'm going to tell it to forever move 10 steps. But now we have a problem because as soon as it touches, so I'm going to say forever move 10 steps. So now if I click the flag, it gets stuck here at the edge. So what you are going to do is you are going to add another code here that says if on edge bounce. So then I come over here. Now I click it. It goes bump and down. Now you see the it's kind of turning upside down. So over here in the direction button, you can come over here and just click these two dots and that means it'll keep its orientation. Okay. So now what you are uh, now, so that means it will just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, but I want it to do something if it's touching the bat. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add a control and I'm going to say if, and then I have to go to sensing, if touching the bat, I want it to, now this is where our score is going to come in handy. I'm going to say change, not my variable because I set it as a score. I'm going to say change my score by one. So every time it now touches the bat, you see that it is going crazy up there, but it's getting different points. So, but I don't want it just to touch the bat. I want it to make it kind of look like it's eating it. So we're going to use a button called hide and show. So at the very beginning, I'm going to tell it to show up. So that way at this point, it can tell it to hide. But now once it's hidden, it's gone forever. And now it looks like the game is over. So what you're going to do now is you are going to uh, tell it to wait maybe two or three seconds. So I'm going to say wait two seconds and then I'm going to tell it to go to a new position. I'm going to say go to a random position and then I'm going to tell it to show back up. So that way then in about two seconds it'll show back up and now he can catch it again. So now watch so one, two, the apple, oh, there it is. One, two, and now I can, now you see that every time it catches an apple and it's only counting it as one time because it's hidden. So that is how you would do your fruit. 